We all know that situation where you're trying to create a nice text from R, but then you get this terrible output. That is infuriating, and luckily with the new epoxy package there's an easy way to avoid that. Let's check out some of its features. First, you probably assembled your text already using the glue function. So what this means is that you write all of your text inside one long string and once you want to use specific variables, you just wrap these variables into curly brackets to use code inside of Gloom. Of course, this doesn't give you any text formatting. Now to use epoxy, just replace the glue function with the epoxy function from the epoxy package. And then the code still works the same, which is nice because you don't have to load anything new, but you still don't get any formatting. But now what you can do is to just insert tiny formatting keywords into your curly brackets brackets like dot dollar to convert something to dollars. That is super convenient because you can even throw together multiple formatting instructions by just chaining them together. But watch out here, the formatting order can be important. If you put this the other way around here, you will get an error which nobody wants. So watch out for the order of the formatting. Now you can display all of this generated text wherever you like, but sometimes you specifically want HTML output. No problem, with epoxy you can just enforce the HTML output by using epoxy HTML. But then, to make sure that the code still works, you will have to replace your curly brackets with the double curly brackets. You will have to watch out here though, because the code doesn't work exactly the same, because this dot notation now creates CSS classes. To fix that and use the epoxy formatting instead of using CSS classes, you just replace the dot with an add sign. Of course, you can still use custom CSS classes, but then you will have to also write some CSS code for that. With epoxy, you are not restricted to just simple sentences. You can throw together whole text chunks by just putting everything into an epoxy chunk that you place into your core to document. And if you want to use the behavior from epoxy HTML, just make this into an epoxy HTML chunk and remember to replace everything with the add sign. And the cool thing is that epoxy does not only work with numbers. You can have some badly formatted text and then using the appropriate keywords you can put that text into lowercase or title case or first into lowercase and then into title case. It is also worth pointing out that epoxy works in a vectorized fashion too. This means that you can not only work with one single output but can create multiples at once. Or if you want to combine multiple things into one output you can do that too. Just use the keywords and or comma. Also, if you want to use it within Shiny, it is great there too, because it allows you to wrap multiple UI elements into one wrapper function. And once you have wrapped everything into epoxy, then you can use the epoxy syntax to stick in words or numbers that you want to use inside of your UI. Just make sure that your server function includes a render call for that, and then everything works nicely. So that was a short rundown on how epoxy can help you create nicer text and can even be used inside of Shiny for dynamic user interfaces. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit that like button and see you next time.